When a woman is pregnant, it is important that they give themselves and their baby the nutrition needed to grow and thrive. Follow these tips to eat healthy during pregnancy and breastfeeding. Choose a mix of healthy foods. There are lots of healthy choices in each food group. Choose a variety of foods you enjoy, including whole fruits like apples, oranges, mangoes, papaya, and bananas, vegetables like chayote, morning glory, kale, Chinese cabbage, and spring onion, whole grains like brown rice, potatoes, sweet potatoes, corn, pumpkin, and taro, protein foods such as lean meats and chicken, eggs, seafood, beans and lentils, nuts and seeds, and tofu. Dairy foods, such as milk, yogurt, cheese, fortified soy drinks, like soy milk, or soy yogurt. And oils, like sunflower oil, sesame oil, soybean oil, and oils in food, like seafood and nuts. Get key ingredients from food and supplements. During pregnancy, you need more of certain nutrients to keep you and your baby healthy. It's best to get these nutrients mostly from foods and drinks, but it may be hard to get enough. That's why most doctors also recommend a daily prenatal supplement, also known as a prenatal vitamin. Ask your doctor which one is right for you. You may also need a daily supplement when breastfeeding, but prenatal vitamins may not be the right choice. Ask your doctor if you need a supplement, and if so, which one is right for you? Focus on four key ingredients. Folic acid, a type of folate added to foods and supplements. This is key for preventing serious problems with your baby's brain and spine. It's also important to get enough folate from foods such as dark green veggies, like morning glory and kale, beans, peas, and lentils, like black-eyed peas or kidney beans. Iron helps your baby grow and develop normally. Eat these foods to get enough iron, lean meats, poultry, and some seafood. Dark green veggies like chayote and Swiss chard. Beans, peas, and lentils like soybeans and lima beans. Iodine is important for your baby's brain development and prenatal supplements may not have enough. If you add salt to your food, make sure it's iodized salt, which is salt with added iodine. Eat these foods to get enough iodine. Seafood, like cod and shrimp. Low fat or low fat dairy, such as milk, yogurt, and eggs. Choline is a nutrient that helps your baby's brain and spine development, and prenatal supplements may not have enough. Eat these foods to get enough choline eggs, lean meats, poultry, and seafood, beef, chicken breast, and cod, beans, peas, and lentils, such as white beans and kidney beans. You can also get some key nutrients from fortified and enriched foods. For example, if you eat refined grains such as white bread or pasta, choose enriched options with added iron and folic acid. Cut down on added sugars, saturated fats, and salt. Check the nutrition label to choose foods with less of these things. Added sugars include sugars that are added to foods and drinks, foods packaged as sweeteners such as table sugar, and sugars from syrups and honey. Choose water instead of sugary drinks and limit sweet treats such as cake, cookies, and candy. Saturated fat is higher in foods from animal sources like butter, whole milk, and fatty meats like ribs and sausage. It's also in some plant foods such as coconut oil and palm oil. Choose foods with unsaturated fats instead like seafood, avocados, nuts and seeds, and olive oil. Sodium comes from salt and most of the sodium we eat comes from packaged foods and restaurant meals. Try cooking more at home and flavoring foods with herbs and spices instead of salt. Mm -hmm.